hovercraft have an excellent record of safety, and many hundreds of thousands of passengers have been carried without incident over the years. However, the unexpected is always there waiting to happen, and you must be prepared for the remote possibility that an accident may occur which requires that the hovercraft be evacuated. This video shows what has to happen, and some of the things that you might be expected to encounter. You have to know exactly what it is that you are required to do. Your behavior will affect the way the passengers react. Your knowledge will save lives. The hovercraft's life-saving equipment consists of 14 inflatable life rafts, seven on each side. Each life raft is designed to hold 30 people. If some life rafts are damaged or fail to inflate, up to 10 extra passengers can be put safely into the remainder. If an emergency occurs, the captain will try to inform the crew before an announcement is made to the passengers. But this may not be possible. In any case, motion may well have changed, and if stopped, the view from the windows would have changed from this to this, and the engines would have been shut down. Passengers will probably be aware that something is going on. As soon as the general alarm sounds, and if abandonment is a possibility, the crew go to their emergency stations. First and second officers go over the roof and launch the number one life rafts. They move aft, releasing life rafts, and go in through the aft main door. Meanwhile, car deck supervisor S2 and car deck P2 go through the aft main doors and start to launch life rafts from number seven forwards. And they go in through the forward main door. When all the life rafts are ready, the first and second officers report to the captain. At the same time, crew take up their emergency positions. The captain will be announcing the emergency to the passengers and telling them what to do. Attention, attention, attention. This is the captain. This is the captain. We'll find your life jackets above your seats. Listen carefully to the following information. You may have with you and leave all baggage behind. We are preparing to evacuate into the life rafts. Put on any warm clothing you have with you and locate your life jacket in the rack above your head. Remove the life jacket from its yellow container. Your crew member will demonstrate how to put it on. Remain by your seat. Place the life jacket over your life head, over making head. sure that the white waist tapes the are against waist your body. Against the body. Pass the waist tapes Pass in opposite directions, around the back. one each side it's around your body, retain them to the front. Pull tight and secure at the front with a bow. Do not inflate your life jacket by mouth. This is a whistle to attract this attention. This is a whistle to attract attention. This is an automatic, is an light. automatic light. Take you off your shoes. Your leave all baggage now. on the craft. Take off all your shoes. When you are instructed to move, do not push, as there is ample space and time for the evacuation. In the meantime, remain by your seat and await further instructions. <laughs> the captain will wait until he has been told that all the life rafts are ready before saying Attention please, inflate your life jacket now. It would be nice if everybody knew exactly how to put on a life jacket properly and had the skill and room to do it as well as this. But you will be dealing with an emergency situation, and part of your job is to watch the passengers and make sure that everyone is preparing themselves properly. This is a highly charged situation. People will be extremely nervous, and some of them will be on the verge of panic. Not everyone will have been able to see the demonstration clearly. You must be aware of this. Some people may not behave in the way that you would normally expect. Here's an example. This woman has misunderstood the donning instructions and has inflated her life jacket by mouth. Now she knows that she has done something wrong, but she doesn't know what it is. She knows she has made a mistake and is embarrassed by it. She is getting overexcited and resentful, 
and because of this is finding it hard to understand the helpful instructions being given by a fellow passenger. Be aware that you will encounter behaviour like this, and, in a real emergency, it will be more extreme. When the life jacket demonstration is finished, the crew must be in position at the emergency exits. If the captain decides that the vessel must be abandoned, he will give the signal. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. The emergency doors and emergency window are opened. <laughs> Crew who are working on the outside of the vessel must hook their safety harness onto the rail. The crew directs passengers through the appropriate exits and into the life rafts, checking that their life jackets are correctly secured, footwear is removed, and that no baggage or duty-free goods are being taken into the life raft. Being on hand to offer practical help where it is most needed is a sure method of helping to keep passengers calm. With life jackets on, it is rather difficult to tell who is who. This is why it is important that you wear the hats that identify you as being a member of the crew. Passengers must be made to sit down on the floor of the life raft. Sitting on the outside is unsafe and must be discouraged. When the life rafts are full, their respective crew members board them, cut them free and paddle away from the vessel. When everyone appears to have embarked, the first and second officers check that the cabin, the toilets and the car deck are clear and report this to the captain before they leave. Finally, the captain leaves and gets into the number one life raft on the port side. The evacuation of the stricken vessel has now been completed safely. Once the life rafts have reached a safe distance, they should gather and tie together in groups. You will have to maintain morale and discipline in your life raft while you wait for the next stage of the rescue. Remember, you are not a survivor until you get ashore. Mm-hmm.